we'll continue from the previous uh, lecture where we have uh, seen various examples for the group and abelian group so let us uh, now show that z7 star dot is an abelian group so what is this z7 star is nothing but modulo 7 with uh, excluding 0 so that is star operation is a multiplication so here the multiplication modulo 7 table is as below so you have uh, numbers from 1 to 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 now each entry is obtained by multiplying the two row index and column index and take it modulo 7 so 1 into 1 1 so like this 1 into 6 is 6 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 3 is 6 2 into 4 4 is uh, 8, modulo 7 is 1, 2 into 5 is uh, 10, modulo 7 is 3, 2 into 6 is 12, modulo 7 is 5. So, likewise, you will obtain the other remaining entries of this table. Now, to prove that it is an abelian group, we have to show each of the properties of the abelian group. So, first one for closure, since uh, the, uh, once you have a table format, you can observe that the table entry has only the elements of Z7 star. Therefore, closure is satisfied. <coughs> Next is for associativity. For any two elements, so it is not two elements, for any, for any three elements of Z7, A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. So, the associativity is satisfied. So, you can take any three elements of this Z7 star and show that it is satisfied that you should write here next to find the identity element so how do we find the identity element when uh, you have this table so now you can observe so this row with uh, the index one has the same elements as the top row top column so that is like here whatever one two three four you have one two three four five six here so therefore one is the identity element so each row uh, now to find the inverse now in each row identify where there is an identity element which is 1 so now here in this case so in this case 1 is the identity element so circle 1 in each row if any row doesn't contain this it indicates that some of the element doesn't have the inverses so if you have the identity element in each row then we have the inverses for every element now how to find the inverses so one inverse is present here so go to the top and this is the inverse of one for 2, the inverse is 4. And for 3, the inverse is 5. And for 4, the inverse is 2. And for 5, the inverse is 3. And for 6, the inverse is 6. So, likewise, I have written here the inverses respectively. And since Z7, Z7 star dot satisfies closure, associativity and has an identity element 1 in this case. And every element of Z7 has an inverse. Z5 dot is a, uh, is a group. Now, the question here is, it says you have to prove that it is an abelian. So, along with that, you have to prove that it satisfies the commutative property. So, you can see that the table is symmetric about the main diagonal elements. Or if you fold this uh, by making it as a, this as the main diagonal elements. So, these uh, will match it. So, this is an abelian group. Z7 star dot is an abelian group. Next is order of a group. So, let G comma composition be a group, then the number of elements of a group is called as the order of group and is denoted by G within the straight lines. Example, N belongs to Z plus, Zn plus, the size of the group Zn plus is N. This is size of or order of this group. If P is a prime number, then Zp star dot 
is equal to p minus 1. So, we have seen here 7 is a prime number. So, we will be considering 1 to 6 which are 6 uh, elements. So, that's all. Let me, if you consider any prime numbers that be star then the number of uh, elements in that zp star is p minus 1. Next is a cyclic group. What is cyclic group? A group g comma composition is said to be a cyclic group if there exists an element x belongs to the set g such that for each a belongs to g a can be written as x to the power of n for some n belongs to n that is for some positive integer n and here x is called as the generator and how this x power uh, n is computed here is recursively x power 1 is x, x power 2 is equal to x composition x, x power 3 is equal to x power 2 composition x, likewise x power n is equal to x power n minus 1 composition x and this composition could be an addition operation, subtraction operation, multiplication operation, division operation, anything which is the operation of this group. Next, show that Z5 plus is a cyclic group. So, Z5 is nothing but addition modulo 5. This is Z5 modulo 5 and operation is plus. And this table is has here. So, modulo 5 means uh, the remainders could be 0 to 4. Again, 0 to 4. And uh, the table is obtained by using the addition operation. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So, this row is same as this. So, this uh, 0 is the identity element. And this uh, all the elements of this contain the elements from the Z5. Closure is satisfied. And if you take any three elements A, B and C, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So, associativity will be satisfied. And since the row with 0 is same as the top row, this is a row which has the same elements as the top row, 0 is the identity element. Now, to find the inverses, again the same procedure. So, identify in every row where the identity element is present. And the top row element corresponds to the inverse of the row. So, for 0, 0 is the inverse. For 1, 4 is the inverse. For 2, 3 is the inverse. For 3, 2 is the inverse. For 4, 1 is the inverse. And since Z5 plus satisfies closure, associativity and has an identity which is 0, every element of Z5 has an inverse. Therefore, Z5 plus is a group. Now, extending to the cyclic group. So, now the elements of the Z5 are 0 to 4. And each of these I should uh, get by using some numbers power. And since it is modulo, I have written it is within an angle bracket. So, 1 power 1 is 1. 1 power 2 is nothing but 1 plus 1 because here the operation is addition. So, it is 1 square. It is equal to 2. Next, 1 cube is nothing but 1 square plus 1, which is nothing but 3. 1 power 4 is 1 cube plus 1, which is 4. 1 power 5 is 1 raised to 4 plus 1, which is uh, 5 mod 5, which is 0. So, now all the elements of Z5 are written as powers of 1. Therefore, 1 is a generator. Similarly, 2, 3, 4. You can check 2 power 1 is 2. 2 power 2 is nothing but 2 plus 2 is uh, 4. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 2 cube which is equal to 6 mod 1 which is 1. 6 mod 5 which is 1. 2 power 4 is 8. 8 mod 5 is 3. 2 power 5 is uh, 16. 16 mod uh, 2 power uh, 5. 2 power 4 is 8. This is 2 power 16. So, 2 power uh, 2 plus 3, 5. 5 mod 5 is, uh, this is uh, plus 2 power uh, 4 is nothing but 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 mod uh, uh, 5 is 0. So, likewise, 3 and 4 also are the generators. Therefore, Z5 plus is a cyclic group with 1, 2, 3, 4 as generator. So, if Z5 plus is an abelian group as well as a cyclic group, both.
Similarly, you can show that Z7 star dot is a cyclic group and uh, you can the same table which we have already found and here 3 and 5 will be the generators for this cyclic group. Now the complex numbers show that under multiplication uh, is an abelian group and check whether it is a cyclic group. Now the complex numbers are 1 minus 1, i minus i. So the multiplication table for the group is obtained here. So how do we get here is 1 into 1, 1, 1, 1 into minus 1, minus 1, 1 into i, i, 1 into minus i, minus i. Next minus 1 into 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1 into i, minus i, minus 1 into i is i, i into 1 is i i into minus 1 is minus i, i into i is nothing but square of uh, i square. So, uh, i value is the uh, square root of minus 1, square root and square get cancelled. So, minus 1 remains. So, i into minus i is, so it is like suppose i into minus i is equal to minus square root of i square i square is nothing but square root of minus 1 whole square so this and square root square root get cancelled minus of minus 1 is plus 1 okay. so likewise you can write the entries at the last row also. Now again uh, the same procedure what we have used for the previous. So here it is not uh, just a minute. The same procedure what we have used for the previous problem again the same here we can show. And uh, here the powers of i will be generating all the elements of c. Therefore i is the generator for this cyclic group. So, this is a cyclic group example. So, we will stop here and see the uh, next uh, topic in the next video. Thank you.